All right, anyways, onwards, inwards. Um, ASIS happened recently in Russia, big Russian land as always. And actually, you know, the first place advocate, he seems to win just about everything in uh, Russia. One of the smartest Terran players outside of Korea ever. Great, great player. It's awesome to see him in such great shape still in 2009. He's been just dominating that scene for so, so long. But then second place was Starmie. Uh, yeah, I don't know. And uh, third place was another somewhat unknown player. Kind of uh, weird results from them. We saw Palmy did make top eight, but he was really the only other huge, huge name to make it so far in the tournament. So either a bunch of great players skipped out or they just didn't perform. I don't really know. But uh, good work to Advocate once again. Another Aces win under his belt. I have no idea how many he even has, but it seems like quite a few. All right, well, I guess uh, let's take a look at the Korean scene now. Um, well, the Korean scene, a lot has happened. All the Star Leagues have ended. Uh, GOM TV finals was Flash against Iris. Flash ended up winning that in a pretty convincing fashion. And Iris gets second once again. Now, this is kind of sad. You know, Iris, in my opinion, is a person who really deserves a title win. This guy has so many times been one of the top Terrans in the world with a style no one else uses. It's a very hard to use, aggressive, aggressive style. And he is just a super talented, extremely intelligent, rock solid player. All of his matchups are deadly, just completely deadly. But he just keeps on getting outclassed right at the very end. You know, he made it to the top four of another league, uh, the MSL against Quanro, where he ended up losing after going 2 0. Loses 0-3, just like the finals of the OSL against GG play. Poor Iris, you know. I, I feel bad for him. He deserves a title. I hope he can pick one up before StarCraft II comes out. Uh, you know, he's one of the players that really does deserve it. Now, the other Star Leagues. Jadong wins the Golden Mouse. Wow, 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 wow. Destroys poor Fake Yellow there in the finals. Um, you know, Fake Yellow, great Zerg as well. But Jadong, unstoppable. And, I mean, this was at a time when he was in Pro League Finals, and he was in MSL Top 4, and, you know, he was Top 8 of GOM or so. Unreal player, Jadong is. Absolutely unreal. All right, well, so uh, another Golden Mouse winner. Now we have two Zergs, July Zerg and Jadong, and then Nada, of course. And that's it for uh, our poor, poor uh, <laughs> Golden Mouse people. Now, Fantasy got knocked out in the round of four by Jadong. Fantasy has to be kicking himself. This is his third top four in a row. He got two finals in a row in OSL. That guy, he deserves titles as well, right along with Iris. And he's going to end up with titles. Fantasy is just way too good. He is in great shape still. And he's actually the one that basically won the Pro League for SK21 by taking out Jadong twice during uh, the, the, the Pro League finals. So, you know, Jadong Oz didn't work out for him. Um, the other Star League, Quanro vs. Calm, uh, the least epic Star League finals of all time, completely. Uh, what can I say? It's, it's two good Zerg players, definitely both very good. Calm, definitely the better player, and he ended up winning, as we saw. Um, but there is one game you definitely should watch. Watch game one. Uh, it was actually a five pool against a 12 hatch, five pool coming from Quanro, and Calm holds it and ends up winning the game. Really cool game, double sunken in there. Go take a look at it. Uh, really, actually, quite an exciting game. The rest, not so good. But, uh, you know, so many Zerg vs. Zerg finals. You know, we had BlizzCon, OSL, MSL, and plenty of Zerg vs. Zergs on the way. Hopefully, we'll have a better batch of maps next time. So, uh, WCG Korea uh, has wrapped up. And, you know, I thought last year was the most deadly group of players we could ever get with, uh, what was it, Store, Quashin, and Jadong? Wow. Or, no way, that was maybe even a different year. Uh, Luxury and Stork and, um, I, I can't even think of it right now for some reason. But anyways, uh, this year it is Bisu, Stork, and Jadong. And that is so disgusting. Uh, foreigners... I hope to God we can get some wins, but who knows? That is really a sick, sick lineup. Um, wow. They're just going to dominate as hard as ever, I guess. There's no stopping them. Oh, well. Um, in other news, the free agency has happened recently, and we did get one retirement out of this, which is actually really kind of sad to me. 
Shine, who recently went to KTF, ended up retiring. He went up for free agency. No one bought him out. Uh, you know, I guess the price is too steep for a Terran that has been around for that long and not done too, too much. But Shine, you know, he is a really underappreciated player. For years, he has had one of the best Terran vs. Terrans in the world. And people just haven't noticed that because, you know, his TVZ was kind of on the weak side. His TVP kind of in the middle-ish. But his TVT, world-class, absolutely. It's a shame to see him go. He even uh, played really well during the recent Star League seasons. Made it reasonably far during those. So it's a sad goodbye to him. Uh, really, I will always remember his TVT games. Great, great player. Sad to see him go. Jadong almost didn't make it back in. You know, he went up for free agency because of his parents uh, really pushing him to. No one bought him out. It was going to cost like a half million dollars to actually get Jadong onto your team. And so then he had to renegotiate with Hwasung Oz. And eventually they did get him right at the tail end. Wow, that would have been something else if Jadong's parents had prevented Jadong from playing anymore right after winning his Golden Mouse. That guy, what a sick killer that kid is. Really like the best player ever along with Flash and Beast. These three are amazing. So... Yeah, <laughs> it's been an exciting little run while the weekly news was gone. Uh, but, you know, right now, not a whole lot of other stuff going on in Korea. This is kind of the off season. A lot of teams taking little vacations, doing team building exercises and stuff like that. Uh, you know, they have to kind of wait for the, the new Star League to start up, the new Pro League season to start up. The draft has just occurred. And, um, well... You know, it's, it's just going to be slow for a little bit. So we're, we're watching a few other things like the Ultimate Pro, uh, Pro League Championships or whatever, which is the Special Force combined with StarCraft. That should be a little bit of fun to watch. So take a look-see at that, I guess. Uh, other than that, not a whole lot going on in Korea. But, of course, it is WCG season. It is the tournament season outside of Korea. So we have a lot of exciting events coming up with that. Uh, as well as IEF coming up pretty soon here. So take a look at that. Oh, and a little reminder, there's going to be a Northeast LAN in the United States. If you live anywhere from New Jersey to Maine, definitely uh, go post in the forums, figure out, get a ride. Uh, we'll post the news about that on SC for All as well. So take a look there, the Northeast LAN number two, coming up the 19th of September in Connecticut. A lot of people are carpooling in, so uh, feel free to make a post and try to try to come up and see everyone it's going to be a great event uh myself will i will be going along with uh idra some other great players like gretorp and uh whoever else is in the area so you're going to be able to meet some starcraft fame and have a great time it's going to be a fun tournament so take a look at that and come if you can uh news on starcraft 2 well still really isn't any <laughs> unfortunately uh the beta not out quite yet we're thinking probably October, November. Uh, looks like September, maybe not. Still kind of waiting on that Battle.net 2.0 to be fixed so that we can finally play it. But, uh, you know, aside from that, just waiting on StarCraft 2. Uh, so, you know, that's about it. Check out a few other things on the site. We recently put up some BlizzCon interviews. Rhett, Machine, uh, Sinek, Reaver, and Kenny. That's a good interview as well. Take a look at those. There will be a lot more content coming your way from the United States especially at USA Finals time, where uh, I'll be carrying this around and getting interviews with all sorts of nerds. So, anyways, sorry about the wait on the weekly news. It is back now. Uh, a lot of people have been asking about it, but we were busy once again. So, you know, thank you for waiting out, and that's it. Any questions, comments, concerns, criticism, please let us know. Thanks for watching.